Hi everyone, I'm Doug Roberts from Conquest Sense. We're out here in Las Vegas at the 2020 SHOT Show. I want to show you a product we came out with last year, and it still is kind of new. It's called the Scrape Maker 4-in-1. Now, a lot of people look at this and say, ah, oh, it's just kind of a gimmicky toy. But let me explain all the parts to this and what it does, and I think by the time I'm done, you'll understand that this is a tool that every hunter is gonna want in their toolbox to make fresh, either refresh scrapes or make authentic mock scrapes. Let's take a look at this. The first thing we notice that's unique is we have two prongs, and that is to tear up the ground, just like a buck's hooves would in the mock scrape or authentic scrape, and we can throw the dirt all different directions and the way a buck would do that. Then what's important is you'll see this serrated edge this edge, as you rake the licking branch, will actually tear that branch up like a buck's antlers would. He tries to get in and he twists his antlers to break that branch up and kind of rip the, the leaves off. This serrated edge does that same thing. Now let's switch to the other side. We have a very smooth, sharp side. Be careful, it will cut you. But by taking this and rubbing it up and down on some trees around that mock scrape, you can create rubs. Rubs are designed for a buck coming through that area to see that another buck has been over there from a distance. So we're extending the distance of when a buck would see it and you can pull them into that mock scrape. Lastly, we got an oversized hoof print. Now a lot of hunters will look and go, eh, hoof print doesn't mean that big of a deal. It actually does. Not only does the size make a deal, but the direction is pointed. The dominant buck in that area normally will have the biggest footprint. We want something that's bigger than his. This is creating competition. The competition is for the territory for breeding rights. So these four pieces, these four specific parts, create an entire mock scrape or refreshes an existing scrape and creates visual aspects around it all naturally in a proper way and I've never had to touch a single thing in the environment by holding it in the middle. Once we have the scrape done, we then want to take Evercom and Rutting Bomb or the Rutting Buck Stick in the wax formula. Here's what's nice. We can simply take the Evercom and we can do bursts of spray on that licking branch. We want deer smells up there. That's authentic, that's real. Down in the scrape, we can saturate it now with the Rutting Bomb. We can do bursts, or we could actually set the whole can off and just fill that area of dirt and really saturate it where it stays. Again, what we're doing is we're putting new deer into the area, we're putting a buck that is in rut into that scrape, so we're creating a angering competition for that dominant buck in the area. What he'll do is he'll come in and take it over, he'll check it more often to make sure that he is the one owning that scrape. As long as you have it to where you have your stand and you're hunting, you're gonna harvest that buck. 